Hello YouTubers, this is another session in our easy regular expression, fluent regular expression project where we get to uh, develop a simple library that basically allows us to formulate uh, uh, rules through regular expressions underneath with a, in a fluent way. So you don't have to ever remember how a regular expression is supposed to work. And uh, in the last time we talked a little bit about, um, you know, being able to uh have a, a a service exception being thrown is my bro what's up my bro how are you doing my brother fine fine and you i'm doing great doing great uh my broker, i was just kind of having people catch up to to the last session and what we were talking about is you know our ability to um kind of uh, fake an exception coming out of a a a function uh in the system uh, ideally let me find the project here real quick um, ideally, what we try to do is that we need to kind of mock a scenario where an exception is being thrown, yeah. right? Which gets me to think about this entire uh, process, you know, how we handle exceptions, how we write these exceptions, to, you know, to kind of, you know, to, to, to test that our service is reacting properly to these exceptions, all of that kind of good stuff. Uh, let's Let's go back here. So this was the scenario. We basically said, oh, get start expression. And, you know, the function is here. And basically you have, let me open this in solution mode. Okay, so let's see. So this here, you have the I expression service. And if I get latest from Ricardo here, let's see. I get latest here. I know that he, he added in the past, but the question was to create a test that makes yeah. this service throw an exception, right? So yeah. if I run all my tests here, so this, let's run all that tests. There we go. Okay, so this is all passing. Now, now the quest is, and let me increase the the uh, percentage on my screen here so people on their phones could see us uh display settings 150 percent i think i think ricardo is trying to join us very shortly yeah hey ricky loading yes we can't see you but we can hear you there you are what up ricky how you doing Whoa. You know, Ricky's stream is like from outer space, you know, like it's like <laughs> Hello. Yeah. We lost him. Okay. <laughs> he'll he'll come back. Anyway, so so the thing is we want to basically go and say ideally we want to see how this service would handle a situation. And this is one of the mm -hmm. most exciting things that to kind of run into because you're basically I don't, I don't think we need that guy. Let me go no. here and say this is not now at least, uh, code rub, remove unused uh, private class member, class member. Okay, so here's the deal. We want to we want to go and say, how would the service operate if you throw an exception? The problem here is that uh, being able to, I don't know my book if you saw this before, but I do, I do this pattern where I go and say, okay, you have a private, delegate right and you know you have a string returning string function like this yeah. and we basically go and say okay private you know uh, 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 uh string try catch and then you take that try catch in here try catch and then returning string function and then here's your returning string function and they basically pass that to that so you basically go and say here's my try catch and i want to yeah. basically take that function here I can now go and say oh this here is try catch like this and this try catch is returning this guy so this way any exception yeah. that can happen in that realm is going to be you know handled this way without yeah. having to we had a discussion uh, yesterday about um, getting rid of this and replacing it with funk but that doesn't work because if the function is returning nothing like a void you can mm -hmm. actually replace that with func. You're going to have to use action. And now you're using action sometimes and using delegate sometimes. It becomes kind of a, 
inconsistent kind of a crappy experience for the engineers. They don't know oh, yeah. which one which one should I work with. Now, where we stopped is to fake to fake this guy somehow. To basically go here and say I want to be able to go and say how do I how do I do this? Let me just show you previous attempts, you know, uh Joe uh Joe Shooty, you know, he basically had some ideas as well. He basically went and said, "Here's an idea that I have that might mm. uh, let's let's just go through some attempts that people made since our last session and let's discuss those together just so we can incorporate the community's feedback." Yeah. This is uh this is Chris Dutui and what he said is that he said a proposal would be to go and say, I want to, how do I zoom this in? I can't, but can you see this screen? Can you see this? Yes. Code? It's yeah. Clear, yeah. So what Chris is saying is that I want the service itself to be able to have an overload of a fake inner exception function that you can pass in and then you can mock this function. You're basically going and saying in runtime, this fake inner exception function is nothing. So let's see here. How how do you want to do this, Chris? So basically, fake inner exception function, and here's your delegate. Yeah, so he has a public and, delegate. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, and then in the test, I think I did see already this. And I would like to see it in the test project, how it would be map mocked, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's that's what we're trying. Yeah, so so if if we figured out this, making it in the test is easy. Like putting this is the test mm -hmm. project, right? Mm -hmm. You're basically going and faking this guy when where the setup in here basically says, why don't you p pass to the service a funk? The problem with that is you're gonna have sometimes two or three of these. Some of them return yeah. high queryable. Some of them return value task. So how many are you gonna are you gonna implement? So that's yeah. one one thing. And then Joe came in and said, "Here's an idea that I have. We want to say on get try and then catch. You want to separate the try from the catch in here and basically invoke the method. So now when you call the method, So what 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 does Joe so try here's a function and then there is a catch exception but now everything is on the screen yeah try mm. now everything is on the screen yeah. so this is so this is a problem okay. I also have an mm. idea I Mm -hmm. I right. think I did write a message to you here in the community. Oh, let's, let's take a look. Let's see. Where are you? Did you send it to me on uh, Discord? Do you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the same... Uh, the same discussion. flow? Okay, let's yeah. take a look. So let's see here. Uh, or maybe I can share my screen. Let's see. Uh when did when did you do you want to share it with us Mabruk? show us what oh this whole thing okay share it yeah. with us just tell us about this idea go ahead if you yeah, still have okay. it yeah it's uh one minute thailand mm -hmm. there you are i can see it <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's here. POC. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I have here generic returning some value. Okay. You know, value task generic type. Okay. Try catch is still private here. Mm -hmm. And what I did, so it works normally. I wrote a public method that invokes this delegate. Mm -hmm. with parameter same delegate function here this the, 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 the function yeah and this function should be called in our services in here okay so this is a service uh, okay. sorry service uh, right. 
you're you're there. Oh, this is a validation. In the ex. No, you're in, you're in the exception. Go to the service. Um, it's down there. Uh, to service. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Mm -hmm. So um, here. Here. You see. For example, get start expression async calls invoke return something value with what should be return your mm. your function, mm -hmm. and here get end expression. For example, uh, should should be dollar. So now, if you if you want you, to fake a service exception, it's yeah. coming out of this. This is my test. I mm. say just uh, I should show you this. Mock here mm -hmm. it's an example with a string type. Mm -hmm. Just normal mock. Yeah. And the test I say set up function and shoot when when it calls the function. Yeah. Throws exception. Okay. Yeah. And then I test with this method, invoke uh, something, and I give it the object from. I can like this. You see? From so so I thought about that. I have one problem mm -hmm. with this approach. There is no evidence that your business mm -hmm. logic function is calling this invoke returning some value function. Yeah. You know be... what I mean, Mabrook? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, how do I know that the business logic function is calling invoke returning some value function, right? I thought about that. I said, why don't I just test the try catch itself? Exactly. Right. Make it public. <laughs> right. The problem yeah. with that is that if we do it this way, then there is no way we can tell that the try catch function is... Let me tell you how crazy I went with this. Maybe yeah. maybe you could you could entertain this. Show me. <laughs> so methods methods there is something called a method info, and the method info can mm -hmm. allow you actually to go and say I want to invoke different parameters inside this service. The only problem with that, like let me show you. Let's you know talk is cheap. Let me show you the code and what the code looks like. So let's go back to this own data neo. This is expressions. This is easy regex. This is not an easy problem to solve yeah. either. I just want you to like yeah. this is this is the kind of stuff that's you know maybe Brian Parker is the one that could come up with crazy solutions for things like these. But you know let me just show you what like here's the deal. You see this get start expression. You have that string yeah. right in your service in here. You can actually, there's something called method info. Yeah. And this method info, my friend, is method info. And this guy basically allows you to go and say, I want to get a particular method like this. And this method will basically, like whatever is coming back from here, this method info here will tell you everything about this method. Everything, yeah. right? Yeah. So what that basically means is that if I go here, the question here is that can I actually access? So let's let's create a funny this temporary fact public void delete me. Okay, here's this guy, and then I'm gonna put um, here method info right, and then type of expression service test get method this guy here. Okay, so, and this guy can expose the private and public functions as well, right? This is terrible and is not readable in any way, shape, or form. I'm just trying to kind of poke around to see what is possible and what's not. So, if I, I'm just going to go ahead and just say assert true, just to, you know, whatever. Console assert, assert true. Okay, this is just to kind of hold up the, the test from exiting. If I do a debug, let's see what's inside this guy. What's inside this method info, right? How can we access it? So what is this method info has? Let's see. Do you see the, the it's still popping up. Not uh, yet, yeah. yeah, still coming. There it is. Do you see that guy? Yeah. yeah. So what's inside this method info, really? 
if you look inside here, you'll find all kinds of information about the methods that we're working with, right? You yeah. can find the reflection type, you know, where is it? Should get expression start module, um, custom attributes. Let's see, void, standard, all kinds of details in here. Yeah. This is a door that I haven't really knocked enough yet, but this basically tells me everything I need to know about this method. Which method did it pick up actually? Get expression should, oh man, it's looking at the wrong uh, one. Hold on. This dot service, service yeah. get start expression. Let's do this again. I was like, I was like wondering why is it giving me the X unit stuff, <laughs> right? It's really dumb, yeah. right? Let's see. So, so yeah, this. We need to know which property, which infos we need to use in our case. Precisely, precisely, Mabruk. Like the idea here, and this guy's coming back as null because there is no such a method. Hold on, let's see here. This is uh, expression service. Okay, let's try this again. Because this is reflection. It's not going to go and say, oh, yeah, you're right or you're wrong. It'll say run it and we'll see right yeah. so let's just see here method info quick watch here this is everything we have so what does this guy really have in here we have declaring type we have custom attributes uh, we have um, let's see here um, Expression service, uh, field event info, constructors, declared constructors. It has all the little details that you can think of to kind of pull pull apart this thing, right? Um, what else is out there that we can look at, Mabruk? This is the return yeah. type. This is the reflected type. What's inside the reflected type in here? Um, Somewhere, somewhere in here, it's giving us the act. Here it is. Do you see that try catch? Do you yeah. see that guy? It's right yeah. there. Yeah. So somehow we can go, my friend, and say, hey, whatever is inside that try catch, change it. <laughs> see, yeah. that, that's how yeah. it's done. You know, it, you know, it, it took me a while to come to this conclusion, but that's definitely there. It is try catch returning function. And then I can take that function itself. And I can replace whatever is inside of it because this function also has an input parameter. Let me show you. So let's yeah. see here. Uh, constructor general uh, method handle value non-public parameters. This is your try catch implementation. Somewhere there, Mabruk, you know, this is where the answer might be, right? Yeah. And, uh, you know... Again, I haven't really dug enough deeper into it, but that's definitely the path to go because now I have access to that try catch inside that method. Now I can pass whatever I want inside of it and yeah. rerun, right? On the fly, in runtime, I can go and say, give me that method, give me that instance. Let me go and replace that try catch and see what happens. What do you think about that? Does that look like a good deal? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> but we need to prove it. <laughs> you need to prove it, right? This yeah. is just this is just a door. It's just a yeah. door that I'm saying, hey, maybe that door works. Maybe we can actually like go and pick up the try catch from inside that function itself, yeah. right? And we could wrap it up in a library and say, hey, here is a fluent library that basically lets you pass whatever you want to it. But that's the way, Mabrook. Something yeah. tells me the answer is there. Yeah, <laughs> amazing. Right. Now, how is that gonna work, my friend? Um, the 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 only thing that I'm that I could think of right now, within all of this, is to be able. First of all, we have to really guard strongly against you know methods that may not have that. I I would wonder why they don't, but they may not have some of that. Um, what 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 is it gonna look like in terms of? Uh, uh, it does reflection is it is it non-performant? I mean, it's just a test. So should it yeah. be a big deal? I don't know. 
this is your declaring type and uh, I, I also don't know that whether the declaring type is actually giving me also the instance or not i don't mm -hmm. know right there's a lot of but that's that's one way we could look at it and you know just while we're at it before before we uh we jump into the next thing um there is a let's see here there's a module of, uh huh so there's a module and then there is underlying system type no not this one uh where did it go we were just having it a second ago uh declared members try catch there it is yeah. And is this the instance? It looks like an instance because it knows some stuff about it. And then there's custom attributes. And then there's nullable context attribute. Yeah. And then something in here is telling me constructor arguments. And there's a whole bunch of stuff in here that yeah. can basically give us the guidance on how to do it. Anyway, so here's here's the thing for our session today. Yeah. Something for you to look at, something for me to look at. Right. And then on Tuesday, we could yeah. come back and say, hey, did this work out? You know, can we actually access this method this way? And yeah. can we switch on the fly the underlying functionality that the whole the whole point is that we want we want to catch this guy, this this little guy. Where is it? We want to catch this little guy, this 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 this. Yeah. this this function here, that's what I want to catch. Yeah. If I can catch this guy and, and it replace it with a new exception like this, done. It's not just going to help this project. It's going to change our standard because yeah. today we have to go find, you know, dependencies to mock, right? I don't have to worry about that anymore. I just have to worry about certain exceptions that happen within that realm and I can deal with these exceptions. So if I catch that function, can I catch also whatever is being passed to it? What do you think about that? Does that sound promising That's to you? Great. Yeah, something new for me <laughs> and amazing. Yeah. Right. It, it could that work. Could be, yeah. Could work, we need right? To improve it, but it one what yeah. one other thing I'm thinking about, Mabrook, which is let's see. So this guy is going here and saying, like in your in your test here, again, just a reminder, it's it's the it's the um the declaring type inside the declaring type there is a a piece that's called uh, uh custom what was it called it was called a custom is it custom attributes? attributes no 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 there is there is the let's see member info this guy okay so there's this guy and then there's this guy, right? And then there is something in there that we can play around with. Can I replace it on the fly? Can I actually replace and change that function info on the fly that tells me exactly what's going on? This would be one way. And then, and then we could hide this ugliness away, right? So where is this declared members, right? So this is declared type, declaring type, and then declared members. Let's let's go a little bit deeper into this. So I can go here and say, okay, give me a method. Sorry, a method info dot declaring type dot declaring. Let's see, is this guy dynamic? Declaring members. Declaring. Declaring. Uh, get members. This guy here. Get members. And now we have members info, right? Let's see what this member info has. Since we have a little bit until Maghrib time, so we're gonna hang out together a little bit, okay? So, <laughs> so, so, okay, so this, let, let's go back in time, move forward with this. What is inside that member info? Let's see here. The trick, so reading and catching it is one thing, replacing it is another. And that's the other thing that I wanna kind of press on you know okay we you know we caught this now can i actually replace it in real time yeah what do you mean with replace it maybe you can replace it in this instance i mean in the method info this instance possibly mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So what is what is this? This is git member info, git start expression, git type. What is this guy? This guy re returns to what? This is a custom attributes, intrinsic attribute, and then you have no, I I don't want this method info dot get what do we have get based get custom attributes get attributes data what does this guy have it has just a bunch of byte array and what does this byte nullable context attribute and then you have the raw view okay what else mm -hmm. method info dot get get method body there you go so here's your method body, which doesn't have much. But if I go and say, hold on. Mm -hmm. uh, if I go and say, if I go to declaring type, and then I go to um, declared nested types, on the result view, we can have returning string function. Do you see that? No. Declared nested types, right? So... Ugh. Where is that where is that function at? I think it's this guy. It's very possible that it's this guy in here. Uh regex foundation expressions, expression service, and then there is a thing in there, right? Yeah. So so method info declaring my entire computer froze because of reflection. Yeah. Method info, right? And then dot uh, declaring type. And then under that, there is declared. See, is declared. Uh, uh, declaring. Number. Why it's not showing, though? That's weird. See? Hmm. What is this? Is nit is nested fam and assembly? Uh, let's see. Get custom attributes. Get enum names. Yeah, there's something in there, Mabrook. I like I. Yeah. I still don't know. Like it needs a little bit of playing around, and that's basically how we find. Ideally, I want to find the strike catch method and replace its parameters. Yeah. Which is which doesn't seem super impossible now, right? Because because now we see it. I can see it in the system. You know how is it looking like and all that. That's a that's a different story. But now I can. Uh, see, it's saying it's saying declaring type with method info, right? Yeah. But but when I click the declaring type and then declared nested types not declared nested types declared methods i have this try catch right here so this 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 guy here this this is the guy that i need this guy right here is the guy that i want let's just see what why do i need all of this this is method info wrapped up inside a type info wrapped up inside a runtime method info where's where's the guy that system reflection runtime method info all the way down to uh so, so let's just call this var x equals okay so that's our guy yeah. why is it why is this guy mad uh, type info why does it why does it Are not know how to... an extension maybe it, it doesn't know anything about it <laughs> so let's see so th this is Maybe it's not positioned right, that's why. Mm -hmm. So this is method info declaring type. Okay, let's see if I can pull something out of this. If this guy gives me the try if this if this guy gives me the try catch, I will be relatively happy. Because that basically tells something tells me this guy's gonna blow up because it's let's see, X, what do you have? Mm -hmm. Man, Visual Studio Preview is a pain in the rear. Okay, is, is, there it is. That's my try-catch function right here. 
So this try catch function. Now can I say can I find there it is. Here's your guy. Oh yeah. This is uh, great. <laughs> <laughs> I am happy. <laughs> you gotta hack the crap out of it just to make things yeah. work, right? Yeah. Now the rest is I don't know, can we actually, you know, go and say throw throw new uh uh exception you know i don't know where it goes from there but now i have this method now i can replace this and now i can run again and see you know this is a little bit beyond mock mm. you're actually doing sorcery at this point mm. you know so but this invoke uh, takes another part other parameters it it takes object and parameters right yeah so so what what is the object and parameter like this okay we know that this is our try catch right so does this mean um do you even express an object like would this be expressed as an object throw new exception like this we need to understand how reflection works in order for us to make this work properly this guy is mad at us why because so mm -hmm. so so if if we have this guy properly What's the type of try catch that will tell us actually exactly what we need to do? Because in here, this here is your, let's see. Um, if I hover over this, oh, this guy. Oh, wait, wait. This I, I guy, don't see. A, yeah. Oh, you don't, you don't, you don't see my, my cursor. No. Whatever is coming from here is called method info. Do you see, you didn't see the screen the screen is gone. Yeah, yeah. No, I can't see it. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. So, so if this is my try catch, if this is my try catch, this will give me the parameters inside yeah. that try catch which basically means so this is parameters and these parameters will give me that one method that I want to replace but I think invoke is the way out but let's just see what kind of parameters this guy has it should just have this generic anonymous function inside of it and this anonymous function is exactly what's gonna do all the magic so this here yeah this guy here it is this guy see see what it's basically saying this is a a a returning function type and this is the information about it yeah i bet you this if i execute this guy it should return the exact same value you want to bet let's see if i go here so these are parameters i'm going to invoke this guy if i am right if i caught this right let's see string value that's here var value parameters uh, uh i'm Zero. assuming it yeah if i do invoke or something like hold on if i have this parameters because this guy is returning a, an array right so i can probably get custom attribute invoking is out is uh, monitor Let's see if I can run this guy and if this guy gives gives me the what is get real object. Oh wait, I have an idea. If I go here and say returning returning a uh, string function. Mm -hmm. And this guy is the guy that we declared originally in in here. So let me make it public just for now. Public. We're hacking, right? we're mm. hacking we'll see what things look like right so so this is this is returning string i think i called it returning string function yeah yeah ju got. you just wrote it false in the um, huh this guy function this is fine is it nested inside the actual let's see expression service dot returning there that guy so now if i map it this guy if I map it like this, that should be the guy that I can invoke 
and if I invoke this guy and it takes doesn't take any parameter, then this value that comes back here should be the string. Yeah. Because I'm basically I already picked up this little guy in here, and it should give me back that upper carrot whatever. Now why is this guy mad saying parameters is not null here? What? Parameters <laughs> cannot convert type system parameter or info to returning. Uh, well, yeah. what do you want? Uh, get real, get get real object here. Maybe this will fix it. Uh, there is no argument given that corresponds. What? Context. Streaming cont. Oh, I don't care. Nope, not happy. Some somehow I want to go and say. Give me this delegate. Object? Huh? Sorry. Um, what about as object? As so object? Would that cast it? Would that would that cast it or? We could try. Let's go here. Nope. Um, okay. Some some yeah something else needs to kind of. What does invoking do? invoking what does this guy do it takes parameter info with action or some of that nonsense okay here's here's what i believe and i could be wrong this parameter zero is the function we're looking for and we need if we can run this function we should be able to get back that string and if we did then we got that's that's the guy that we're looking for how is that gonna work? I don't know. <laughs> let's let's run this debug again and see. There is debug. I don't need any of that anymore. Get parameters. Okay, so this value here should be whatever is inside the try catch. You guys should see what Visual Studio is doing right now. You don't see it, but it's saying evaluating expression and just freaking out because I'm <laughs> doing reflection. Um, yeah, and it barfed. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. Uh, quick, quick watch. So what is this value here? Runtime parameter info. So out of parameters, I had this one guy. And if you open up this one guy, let me try this. You, you can still also reevaluate. Re Hold on a second. Did we lose our track? Let's see. This is... This is the one parameter. Uh, uh, wait. So X had. So X. Oh, what? Why everything is broken? Everything is broken. What happened? Reflection. Re. Yeah. Exactly. Reflection. Reevaluate. Oh my God! I broke everything. Okay, hold on. Let's let's see here. So maybe get parameters is, is is freaking it out a little bit. Let's go back in time. Let's go if ten, if ten, and then x has a count of one. Okay, here it's <laughs> it's crazy how this thing is weird. But uh, okay, so if I say x and then I say get parameters, there it is. This is the guy that I'm looking for, yeah. right? And then out of this guy, can I actually replace it in real time? Like, can I go and say, Hassan, like this. Cannot convert lambda expression to type because, forever ever, because it's not a delegate type. Yeah, okay. somehow. That's... Can you check what has parameter info again? Okay, so... Look, it's right here, Ricky. Do you see it? Do you see these? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's the guy that we want to replace. Okay. Uh, so. Hmm. Here's the expression. This guy is what I'm looking for. This little guy here. This mm -hmm. guy here is the guy that has the function that I'm looking for. Like this parameter type. This 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 guy here is the guy that has the details that we're trying to reflect. And if we catch that guy, that that would be it. Right? Does, does that one has method info there? Inside of that one? Method let's see. Dot method nope. 
No. Does it have? Does it have invoke? It 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 actually in reality it's, it's not actually returning anything, Ricky. So it may have it. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, let let me just go back to this since we have a couple minutes. Uh, expression service, and then you have member implementation. Pr parameter type. Where is the actual parameter though? Like return type. See, it's gonna give you a string. So, so this is. Oh, return parameter. I saw a return right. parameter there. Yeah, but yeah, but return parameter. It's right here. Return parameter. But that guy just gives you the type of what we're returning, right? Oh, okay. We want we want the instance of the function that will actually run this. Anyway, you know, dig into it. This is this is the this is the this is how I would approach this problem, right? We have reflection will allow you to look deeper into the stack of the object that is coming over to you and may allow you to replace it, right? We might just need a, a little crash course on reflection. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So so that's the path forward. Let's let's connect again on Tuesday and let's see yeah. what we can come up with. Play around with it, see what people do. You'll see people watching this on YouTube, they'll come up with all kinds of crazy <laughs> stuff, you know? And that's the beauty of working with the community, right? You're basically sitting down and you're saying, Okay, what's out there? What can you do for us? You know, and and how can we evolve together, right? We're pushing like this now we're pushing the boundaries. Like this would be a standard changing effort because you never have to mock anything you know, from your dependencies, again, all you got to yeah. do is just find how your serve, like, I couldn't care less what my dependency is doing. I want to see how my service reacts to particular exceptions, whether these exceptions are coming from a dependency or not. That's the trick. Okay. Anyway, I'll see you next week. Cool. Yeah. Sure. Ricky, uh, Ricky, did <laughs> so. you move to Dubai? Is that what happened? Your internet is garbage. Nah, they, <laughs> do, do I keep messaging by or they replace my internet service? I don't know. <laughs> oh, my Lord. My Lord. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Let's connect next week. I'm so excited about this. Let's see if we can evolve. You know, we can push this forward. And, you know, for people watching us, if you have any suggestions, you know, let us know or join us in our Discord channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys later. Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. Ciao. <laughs>